Year one of parenthood. We are almost complete. Yes. Coming up on one year already and it's time is flying. But what we want to do in this video is really dissect what the hardest thing has been so far in parenting and in parenthood so far. This is a husband and wife's perspective. Yep. And it may not just be one thing. So with that said, let's get into it. Let's talk about it. So as I mentioned, it's really not one thing that's mm. hardest about parenthood. I think that it is a number of things. It's a challenge because it's so new. It's the right. newness of it all. And although newness can be very exciting, there's a lot of fear when it comes to starting anything that's new. And yeah. parenthood is especially one of those things because you are responsible for raising a human being. Right. And they are reliant on you for everything they're dependent on you for everything because they can't they can't do anything themselves right. and so it is your responsibility as a parent to make sure your child is fed make sure they're getting the proper sleep they're you know they're changed they're loved um you understand their needs which are non-communicative at that point with the exception of crying right and so there's a lot of newness that is surrounding just being a parent to a new parent, a, a new parent to a baby um, that incites a lot of fear. Yeah. So that's definitely a challenge. I would say is one of the hardest things of the first year of parenthood right. because you just want to make sure you're doing everything right. And you're yeah. questioning everything that you do. Like, is that normal? Okay. Is this right for the baby? And exactly. How do we know we're doing it right? And sometimes you don't know. And just you just have to do it. You, you Once you're in it, you're in it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a great starting point as far as the hardest things because it really does come down to, like, how new everything is. Yeah. You have no clue. Like, you, you're you really foreign to all of these new things that are right. happening. And, and month by month, it changes. That's exactly. The, that's the crazy thing is, like, the newborn stage is hard in itself because you're just trying to keep this baby alive. You're yeah. like, hey, <laughs> make sure he's not rolling over on his stomach and sleeping yeah. face down. Like, yeah. like everything is such a, a crucial a, is very crucial. Mm -hmm. And then you get out of the newborn stage and you get to like month two, month three, month four, and then you like for us, like we started we started seeing him get sick. Like when he yeah. started, when, when he went to daycare after you went back to um, work, work when, you, when you went back to work. So like those next couple of months of trying to navigate that as well, the, mm -hmm. the, the different experience of not being home every single day. And then yeah. also dealing with the new elements of the world, opening up the yeah. world. So I think that is really tough as well. I have something that, was is one of my biggest okay. challenges before you get into that i mm -hmm. just wanted to piggyback off of what you said and just say a lot of it is that it's it's hard because of the newness but you're constantly unlocking new levels of difficulty so mm. the first level was just trying to keep this newborn alive understanding like the baby's needs and stuff like that not having them roll over blah 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 like you said but then you roll into month three and four and you're like Okay, now you're in daycare. Now you're getting sick a lot. How do we navigate that? That's a mm -hmm. new challenge. Um, you know, introducing solids as they get a little bit yep. older. That's yep. a new challenge. And, you know, having the baby, I'm kind of backtracking a little bit, but tummy time and learning to crawl and to right. walk and stuff. All of these things, you're unlocking new challenges. And they're also gaining, they're gaining more and more autonomy. They're learning to be a little more, independent and they're, they're learning how to do things and they're in the discovery phase as well. And so they want to test and try and see and touch and taste and be, you know, explore all five of their senses yeah. at this age. And a lot of it is like, Oh, there you go. Nope. Pick you up. Nope. You can't go over there. And it, it just, you, you really at the end of the day, unlock new levels right. of difficulty, which each phase that they go into as they're a newborn um into their first year of life right and as like we're approaching the we're, we're approaching year one like yeah. so we're in month nine ten and eleven well we're at ten months we're at right ten now. months right now and yeah. now he is getting up on his own he's standing up in the crib he yeah. is like he's cruising at, at, all the couch the yeah. bed he's scaling at any the moment i mean like 
we used to be able to put him down on the in the center of the bed and not really have to worry, be able to step 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 away with the eye on him, of course, but be able to step away. But now, as soon as you put him on the bed, the man rolls over, like, gets it's go up, time. it starts <laughs> crawling. It's like now you can't even step away now. So yeah. like that's a whole other level. It's like because he's getting stronger, he's growing, yeah. he's developing, he's even more curious, and because he's more mobile. Now it's we got to be even more careful, and exactly. it's gonna be even it's gonna be even harder because once that, he starts walking, yeah, once then he starts like, walking, because then it's like, like oh, now we really got a new level proof. exploration, and he's like, right. oh, I can actually get to this stuff without yeah. my parents guiding me yeah. there. Uh, and, I can do this myself, and that's the beautiful thing about parenthood and just seeing the growth day in and day out, and mm-hmm. month in and month out, because you just see this little baby continuing to grow. But what is that? What would you say? Because you said that you have um, a point that was very difficult for you Mm -hmm. um, in the first year of parenthood. Yeah. One of the biggest challenges or one of the hardest things um, here in year one for me personally was learning patience. Yeah. Um, Mm -hmm. That was more so a bigger issue in the first couple of months. And I've started to you you start to adapt. you know, as, as the months go on right. into parenthood. So my patience isn't as, uh, thin as it was, you know, in, in month one, two, and three. But I would say that like those first beginning months, just learning a whole nother level and, um, mm-hmm. way about going li- through life. Like it's not just you anymore. It's not just you and your wife anymore. Like me and you, we've been together since we were 20 years old and I was able to, it, you easily have adapt. We easily have adapted to a life, you know, supporting both of us. Right. So that, that element has already has mm-hmm. been gone and past. Like mm-hmm. I know how to operate a life, not just looking, looking at perspective for myself, but looking mm-hmm. at it for the best interest for both of us. Mm-hmm. But now introducing a baby and introducing this new integral part to our lives and mm-hmm. our family it's not just me and you anymore. Now right. it's me, you, and the baby. And what's right. best for all three of us. And, you know, as the father and as the person that is really wanting to be the protector and to be the, the provider and do all the things to build a happy and healthy family, those things continue to, you know, be at the forefront of your mind. And it was difficult for the first couple of months trying to navigate this new life and how to operate and Mm -hmm. how to, um, be there and be responsible Mm -hmm. for this new, uh, human. And, and, you know, I always, of course, I, I, I love my son and I love my wife and everything, but it's just the newness of being a father and figuring out, you know, how do I navigate being a husband and being a father and right. having time for myself as well and just a balancing act of this new stage of life. Right. Yeah, I think it's it's also knowing that it's difficult to balance everything and what you felt comfortable juggling before, you now add a baby into the mix and it just adds another level of complexity to like your schedule, your day-to-day and like you say operating in a way where it's not just about you and I anymore. It's mm-hmm. all three of us. Right. And with the primary focus on him right yeah, now, exactly. or is, the primary focus is always going to be your child. But as they get older, they have more independence. Right. So I think it's that, but from my perspective, I think for you is we all try to operate with rationale. And I think that in a level of understanding, and I think where, you know, you had some challenges is that, it was just hard for you to understand at times. Mm. And I think that also played into you not having any, you like your patience being thin right? because you just didn't understand. Yeah. And there are a lot of times where I didn't understand either. So I, I totally get it. But I think that when you operate out of rationale, you think, Oh, a baby is crying because of this, but sometimes you just don't know and right. you don't understand. And it's, you have to go through all of these boxes to check off and say, okay, has the baby been fed? Yep. Has the diaper been changed mm-hmm. yet? Hasn't been this. And sometimes the baby's just crying because maybe they're colicky or the baby's crying because they're tired and they don't know how to, and they can't articulate that they're tired. There, there's many reasons why a baby can be crying. And sometimes you may not know the answer yeah. and not understanding and knowing the reason for it can cause 
patience to become thin yeah. or you become yeah. impatient because you just want to there to be an one plus one equals two solution. Right. And that's not always the case, especially raising a baby. And right. we and we've learned that very quickly yeah. that what we think should be the outcome sometimes is 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 not the case. Yeah, and exactly. you have to learn to just adapt and with time you build that patience. Mm-hmm. Those were incredible points, and I agree 100%. And I, I kind of went broad picture with the, the mm-hmm. patients, but you kind of narrowed it down to a day-to-day basis and right. like the, the reasons why patience was thin um, mm-hmm. from time to time. And it was really a lot because of the the crying and stuff and not really figuring out, like, why is he crying and, and thinking, like, one plus one should equal two. And, you know, there's not always an answer or yeah. sometimes there is an answer, but it's just about having the patience and saying, OK, what are the reasons why he's right. crying? Or uh, the answer is not going to solve the problem as quickly as you think. Yeah. Like it may yeah. still require. And then plus, mm-hmm. plus also another big part of um, the patience being a, a problem definitely in the early months was because I didn't grow up around babies. Like I basically was the only child for one and for two um, growing up, I wasn't around newborns or babies. So, you know, now being 30 plus it, it having a baby mm-hmm. on a day to, on mm-hmm. a daily basis, um, you know, relying on you, but also just the crying aspect is like, what the heck? Like, what, why is he crying? What is he, what, what's going on? Mm-hmm. And, and just like trying to figure that out. And over time you start to realize and you start to let, you know, gain a, a different, um, perspective on things but mm-hmm. i would definitely say the first couple of months were definitely hard when it came yeah. to that and i'm you know just being transparent yeah um, no but, and i think you should because i think that that is other people need to see that and know yeah. that because there are people that are going through the same thing mm-hmm. and to be able to see this video and say oh this person gets it like mm-hmm. i am going through the same thing as well and i don't feel alone i don't feel like it's just me and of course when we have these feelings it also kind of makes us question are we equipped are we doing the right things mm-hmm. like you know am I being the best dad that I can be to my son am I mm-hmm. being the best mom that I can be and so we start to have these doubts and fear that that comes in and tells us otherwise because of some challenges that we're facing exactly. and so um and I, I I definitely understand the patience thing because it require it requires you to have a lot of them and oh uh, it's good that we're working on it now because as he gets older and he's going to be more expressive, he's going to, you know, have emotions and feelings right. of his own. And he's going to let you know when he is not happy or if he's upset or if he's tired, if he's excited or, mm-hmm. you know. And so there are going to be moments where your patience is con- continue to be challenged. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. You, I mean, you it, learn doesn't, how to, it, it doesn't just stop here. That's for sure. Exactly. I, yeah. I definitely understand that. Mm-hmm. And um just like how year one there's always growing points from month to month right it won't be as frequent as he gets a little bit older it won't be Mm -hmm. month to month crazy changes yeah but from year to year there will definitely be changes so from year one to year two to year five to year 10 there's so many changes that go along and and you develop a different type of mindset to be able to register that right be able to say okay i understand what the process and the journey is going to be like and and shifting your mindset to have a more growth mindset for what is to come and what changes are going to come, not with only in, within him, but within you as well. And I like that. that along that journey. Yeah, definitely having a growth mindset. And I think if you, whenever we're experiencing a moment of challenge, just trying to be forward thinking and have that growth mindset and just understand that this is a part of the process right. and it is a blip in the child's life in a moment in, in your, um, part of your parenting journey that makes things just feel easier, you know, and it gives you that comfort in knowing that tomorrow will, and hopefully be a better day. Um, and before we go to the next thing, I was going to say one challenge that I experienced, you know, I was going to ask you, I was like, enough enough about me, but now what about you? What's, (laughs) what's, what are your biggest challenges or what is one of the biggest things that's been hard for you in year one? So I would, hmm, I thinking, Cause there, there Cause are everything couple, comes so easy. No, I'm that. saying because there were <laughs> quite, you know, there are some challenges for me. I think 
personally, the challenge was, you know, as a breastfeeding mom, mm. it was very difficult because I felt like I didn't really have a lot of personal time because my window was cut very short, because especially when Jordan was a baby, like a newborn, because he had to feed every two hours. And so right. I was really on borrowed time with mm. or limited time with what I could do. And I was constantly like, okay, I can only be gone for X number of time for X number of time because then I have to come back and breastfeed the baby. You know, like you are literally like your baby needs you. And if they're hungry and sometimes you it's multiple feedings. And so I think for me that was um as much as I loved breastfeeding, I really, really enjoy breastfeeding. It's hard. And I think that you only see the glorified parts of breastfeeding, but the journey in itself, it's it's very difficult. Um, and when my milk supply was starting to run low a little bit, the stress of trying to keep up with my supply to make sure that Jordan is well fed and that he has enough is, is a worry that only moms who are breastfeeding kind of get it. Right. Um, because you know that your child is completely reliant on that milk. Yeah. And yeah. so that was kind of difficult for me when I was having um, a moment where I was kind of struggling with my milk supply a little bit. Thank God I was able to regulate yeah. things again and stuff like that. But then we segued into the next challenge, which ties into breastfeeding, was when we um, did want to start supplementing with formula uh -huh. because then my milk started to drop again. And I'm like, okay, I do have to supplement. So I started supplementing with, with formula so that he would get a bottle of formula a day. And our dog just walked by Journey. Uh -huh. Journey. We got a special guest. Journey, say hi. You can we continue. have two babies in the house. Um, but we found out that Jordan has a milk allergy. Mm. And so we went through five different types of formula until we found the right one. But in that process, to see him in so much discomfort and pain from the milk allergy and stuff like that, and us feeling kind of helpless, like we don't know what to do. We only The only thing we can do is take him to the doctor, try and figure out how we can switch it up and yeah. try something else. Thank God, you know, he's out of that stage. But that was really hard to watch as a parent and hard to just feel like helpless. Like I, exactly. I just felt helpless in that moment. Yeah, that's actually a really good point. Um, I'm going to touch briefly because we're going to start wrapping this video up because I don't want it to be too long. But that was like for, for me as the husband, obviously I have no part in the breastfeeding experience. But from the outside looking in, I could just see how much effort and how much work it really was. And <clears throat> as you touched on, it was beautiful for you and you, enjo you enjoyed that bonding time. And I saw that as well. I saw that you actually really did enjoy it, mm -hmm. but it also was very time consuming. And it was also, mm -hmm. you know, you had to be very organized with your time. Yeah. And all of that took some effort and yeah so yes it was challenging for you um but it was also beautiful at the same time it's 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 that's what like this first year really is all yeah. about it's like it's like beautiful it is challenging all at the same yeah. time but that's what parenthood is yeah um so I definitely can g agree with you as far as um that being one of your hardest moments and then I can definitely agree on the second point where we try when we when we started to um transition to him doing some formula like that period was very tough because he wasn't taken to anything no and because he wasn't i mean he was sometimes vomiting vomiting it up and we we're like what do we do and he was starting yeah. to drop weight yeah so you know we took him to the doctor that's all we could do and it was you know, because it was, of his allergies it was yeah. a scary mm -hmm. like week two weeks or, or something yeah. but we got through it mm -hmm. and you know that's what that's what i really want to portray to in this video, like we wanted to go over the hardest things that we had faced um, in year one, because we know that year one well, is as we're approaching the end of year one. Yeah, as we're approaching, still in it. it. <laughs> yeah, we're still in it. We're still in it. But um, we really wanted to make this video because we understand how nerve wracking the, mm -hmm. the first year of being a new parent is, and uh, we didn't have videos like this, so we didn't have yeah. we didn't have like a couple that were going through it and was laying out all the points um, of year one. And we're going to continue to do this, but like 
we didn't have those that that guideline and mm-hmm. that's what we kind of want to portray right. in the videos that we make when we're talking about parenthood or we're right. talking about marriage and we're talking about building better relationships like that's what we do here on this channel and that's what we're this is a, just another example of another conversation that right. we hope that helps people you know yeah well, i definitely hope that it helps people <clears> and if there is a topic that You guys would like for us to talk about, you know, navigating parenthood um, with us being first time parents. Drop a comment below. Like we'd love to tailor videos specifically to, you know, our community. You know, it's about parenthood. It's about having a tribe of people. And so a lot of it is us doing it from experience and sharing, um, you know, information and hoping it be of value to you guys from our own personal experience. Mm -hmm. But if there is a topic that you guys have a question around and you want us to talk about it, let us know, you know, we love getting feedback and tailoring our videos to you guys as well. So, yeah. uh, uh, And I was just going to say, I was going to say, uh, kind of going off of what you said, I think we should, the next video we should do like, this was about the challenges of parenthood. So I think we should do that video, but I also think we should do a video and a topic around the challenges to our relationship, to Mm -hmm. our marriage in the first year of parenthood. So just talking about us in our relationship and some of the challenges that have, we have faced just as a married couple, right? but you know, also navigating year one of being parents as well. Of course. I think that would be great. Yeah. I think it'd be good too. And with that said, we really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends and fam. Um, and with that said, we are going to sign off today. My name is Jen. And I'm Shane. And we are the Yambors. And remember to find joy in the journey. Bye. Peace. Look up, look up, look up. Building a happy home, yeah. building a happy marriage, building a happy family. All of those things take day in and day out work. Like yes. you said, it's about those routines, it's about those habits. And building those healthy habits provides you the responsibility for you to pour into your marriage, to pour into your relationship, and to pour into yourself. Exactly.